Having someone you know like your brother you can play alongside with on offense, I mean, what benefits does that provide to both of you all at the same time? You know, pushing each other. Um, no matter what, yeah, he's been pushing me my whole entire life. So I mean, it's a great opportunity and things like that. But him, the other receivers, I treat them just like brothers too. Of course, Blaine's from day one, but they push me just as hard as he pushes me. And since he's in another room now, I have to find those guys in other in this room that are gonna push me, and all of them do the same things. So. You like in the receiver room, everybody catching balls, you guys all getting in the end zone. What was that like? It, it was great. It, I love to see my other teammates succeed, and just it puts a smile on my face. Braden having a game he had, JP having his first, I mean not first touchdown, but the first touchdown of the game, and things like that. It just puts a smile on my face, especially when Spencer's just throwing on money every single time. O line's blocking and just doing a great job. So that just puts a smile on my face. What's the relationship like for you and your brother with Coach Wallace? It's good. Um, uh, Tylen hit me up, checks on me every once in a while. Uh, Trayson's in our room, so you know, see him every single day. But I just ask him about little things, stuff I can correct because they, they've both been here before. And then uh, Trayson's seen it all, so just having that aspect and that a twin brother that's been here before is just a great opportunity. So. Is there kind of a rivalry between you and your brother? Uh, I would just say competitiveness. We've been competitive our whole entire life, so just. <laughs> Take it one day at a time. We're gonna try to compete in everything. So you've had obviously that luxury your whole life, like I said earlier, you know, getting to play with your brother. But what challenges presented itself, obviously transitioning from high school to college? It's a different, different pace, different tempo, but great, great preparation from fall, off season. Coach Dunn, the offense, and then defensive looks just gives us a great opportunity to compete during the season. So because he's out. Is he helping you, your brother? I mean, is he looking out and, and saying, hey, you could have done this better. You know, you had the ball on the wrong arm. I mean, is he doing some of that? Of course he is. And he's doing that with everybody. He's doing that with everybody, making sure we're on the right same, right page. And he's trying to win as much as he was on the field as when he was off the field. So he's showing up to me and he's just looking forward to trying to help any way he can. So. I asked JP this last year. I don't know how much you looked at them last year. They were one whole man man pressure. They were man 90, 85, 90% of the time. Last week, they were all over the chart. They ran Tampa. They ran cover five, cover six. Mm -hmm. What do you prefer? Do you, would you rather go in saying, okay, it's going to be mainly a man team? Or are you okay with the holes in the zone? I'm okay with anything that's okay. thrown at us. Just, you know, great game plan. We're going to have something for it. And we're just going to play our butts off. And then great O-line, quarterback. We're going to do what we have to do. So. All right, what's the key in zone coverage? Just find the holes. <laughs> find the holes and then uh, having uh, great opportunities, online holding their blocks and everything like that. So. You guys didn't speed up a lot last year, and I guess the end of the Fiesta Bowl, but, but what was that like on, on Thursday? Yeah. It was fun. It's fun always running tempo. It's hard for a defense, even any defense you play, to keep up to a great tempo like that, and we worked it during the offseason. Center doing a great job pushing the ball down the field so we get lined up, and then Spencer just hiking the ball and shooting down the field. It was a great opportunity, and it showed. So, I had more people tell me that the, the most beautiful play of the game was the fade from Spencer to you. <laughs> he did a great job. He threw it four by four in the end zone, and we've been repping that every single practice. So, pra if you practice how you play, it shows up. So he threw a great ball, great blocking, and I was blessed to have the opportunity to catch that ball. So. What was it like seeing him have the game he had coming off the Fiesta Bowl and then his leadership just continuing to grow? Uh, it was definitely great. He just, it's like he never skipped, skipped a beat from the Fiesta Bowl game. He was working hard all this summer and just putting in the hours, and it showed up the first game of the season. Threw, had a hell of a game, and it just, I mean, it just showed up. Everybody saw, and he did a great job. Obviously expected to contribute this year, but with Jaden being out on Thursday, you got thrown into a starting role. What, what was that process like? How did that kind of come to you? How did, when did you know that you were going to get start? Um, I don't really know, but uh, we did a great job preparing in the off season. Like everyone's playing hard, everyone's getting the same opportunities, everyone's making sure they're working, making sure they know if they get called up to the spot be ready to play. So I think we did a great job preparing in the off season, preparing fall camp, and no matter what, who's out, I think we're going to have a great opportunity to play. So. Did, did, what was it like to see L.A. Finally? It was great, man. Everybody loves L.A. in the receiver room. We want to see him succeed. We want to see him get out there. So it was just great seeing him get on the field.